So I think this was, frankly, like the last week of, of December, I remember, because I had my Christmas tree up when my creative guy from DDB called me with this idea. And honestly, I was terrified because I didn't know what the hell the metaverse really was. I thought that maybe it was in, uh, something that Facebook had invented. Like, I'm just being honest about it. So that's why, again, not a Web 3.0 expert, but this is actually something that a lot of us marketers are going through. We have to learn. So you know what we did is, we started Googling, we started reading articles, we talked to experts in the field just to get ourselves smarter about it. And then we went back to it, the idea and we thought, you know what, the reason why we like this idea is there are a lot of brands that are jumping into the metaverse, but they're not doing it in a way that makes sense for their brand. They're you know, creating NFTs or they're doing things just to just kind of jump into the hype. We really like this because we were creating a bar, we were making it feel very Miller Lite, but we knew we still had to push on some other things. So I think you know one of the big pushes, and I had this from people on my team, is that we're all about creating authentic, real-time, in-person connections with Miller Lite. So how do we find a way to still make that feel authentic in the metaverse? And so our solution was really to connect the virtual world to the real world. And this is something a lot of folks today have been talking about. So for us even, when we were creating this bar, you know, what we did is when people got into the bar and were gonna go through this, they could pour themselves a beer and then that was actually a way for them to redeem uh, coupons to get real beer in the real world that they could enjoy during the Super Bowl. So again, finding ways to make it feel tangible for people so it takes away a little bit, it demystifies it, and it makes people feel more comfortable with the metaverse.